morning from the studio at West and Ms. Amon's advisory. I'm Daniel. And I'm Quint. Today is day two. Want to hear a joke? Sure. What do you call a funny fish? I don't know. A clown fish. Um. <laughs> now let's check in with Asia for today's Where in the World problem. Can you identify this structure and the name of it, of the city and the country where it's located? Picture can be viewed by scanning the QR code on the screen. If you are the first to enter the correct name and location of today's picture, NAMO will be right at the end of this news show, and after the advisory, you can stop by the main office to receive your lunch line buzz pass. Now here's today's Where in the World picture. And now over to the sports desk with Olivia. There was an epic volleyball rivalry that started last night in the Wyzetta West Coliseum. Wyzetta West 8th grade B team squared off against themselves. With exciting play from both teams, the series is knotted up one-to-one. -one. They will not let this rivalry end in a tie, so stay tuned for the rubber match. As for 8th grade A team, they also faced the Goliath of middle school volleyball. These girls made Coach Olsen look short and Coach Brown, look, Coach Brown look weak. And let's be honest, they beat the West team pretty good. Despite the loss, it was the best game the team played. With butter sets from Kaylee, Lindsay, Paige, and Miley, the team was able to rack up a few kills. Defense by Grace, Lily, Lauren, and Ellie was accompanied by the blocking of Genevieve and Miranda. In seventh grade volleyball, the girls faced their toughest opponents of the year in Bloomington. In the B match, Whitney Esterson d started the match off with five straight ace serves. Emma Galloway also got her serves working late in the game to help West keep it close, but in the end, they lost to a great team. In the A-team, Siri Proser and Mel Goldstein and McKenna Lear had their serves set to fire with Lacey Anderson was a force at the net with multiple blocks and altered hits. Although they played some of their best volleyball of the season, at times it wasn't enough to overcome the force of Bloomington. Great effort, girls. They play hated rival Central on Monday, so watch out, Central. We're coming. The West girls' tennis took down the girls from... Central Middle School yesterday, six matches to four. It was a highly competitive match with great play from West girls across the board. Maddie Gelling and Sarah Howe showed some serious mental toughness, taking down their opponents five games to four. Kendall Berg and Haley Wolf amazed the crowds with sizzling serves and suburb shot making on their way to victory. Abby, Victor, and Yuktha Sir. Kumar used their superior ground strokes to easily defeat their opponents five games to two. Congratulations, girls. And now let's check in the weather with Abby. As you can see, today's temperature is 40 degrees. It feels like 33 degrees, and the humidity is 79 degrees. And we're having better weather than the people down in Florida. Next slide, please. And it looks like it's going to be a really good weekend with, with, a degree, with 62 degrees by Sunday. Now over to the... Taze, now over to our anchors. Uh, that's really good weather. Oh, now over to today's announcements. There will be an informational meeting for all returning gymnasts and anyone who's interested in trying out for the gymnastics team on Tuesday, October 11th at 5.30 in room H125 at the high school. This is open to Wyzetta gymnasts in grades 7 through 12. Remember that all cell phones are to be placed in your locker during the school day between 9, 10, and 4 o'clock. No cell phones are allowed during the school day. The next Young Scientist Roundtable will be on Monday, October 24th from 7 to 8 p.m. at Central Middle School. This month's speaker will be Dr. Peter Oliver from the School of Mathematics at University of Minnesota. And don't forget Teen Roundtable from 810 to 840, where students are invited to meet with the speaker after the presentation and discuss the topic in more depth. Now back to the anchor. Those, those are good announcements. Now here's the weekend wrap. Oh, it's so serious. What? I mean, what it's the news, do? right? So, not as beef. Huh? What is serious? Yeah, this was going out what to up? Lincoln Middle School uh -huh. in Alameda, hey, uh, California. You already know who brought the hip hop over. Flow cab with the first weekend rap of October. Go! So, we're gonna start off in space where the Rosetta crab fell flat on its face. On a comet! 
but that was part of its mission. It's been orbiting that comet for honorable mention. What? It was the first craft to do so, and it sent back information that was useful. Oh. And in the Caribbean, they braced for a storm. Oh. Hurricane Matthew came with a swarm of waves and wind, and it hit Haiti hard. We'll talk about a country that's already been scarred. Oh, right. Now in Colombia, it's not what we suspected. Nope. The government and rebels' peace deal was rejected. What? The close vote, the people said no. Nope. Will the current ceasefire hold? We can only hope. And back home, we had another debate. This time, it was the vice presidential candidate. Senator hey. Tim Kaine and Governor Mike Pence what? And with all the cross talk what? they had, it what? got tense <gasps> They both came to their running mate's defense Stood by the ideals that each one represents Yeah, right. represents that yeah. Moving on, have you seen a pangolin? Huh? It looks like a Pokemon. Catch them all. They're the most trafficked mammal on the planet. But now there's a trade ban, so we don't take them for granted. Right. And in high school on the football field, a trend was started when Colin Kaepernick kneeled. Okay. okay. During the Star Spangled Banner, some commend him and some call it bad manners. He did it to protest racial inequality. Now some students are kneeling too, following his lead. Come Next on. was checking with Congress. They voted what? to enact a bill, even though Obama vetoed it. Uh oh. Now families of 9-11 victims can sue Saudi Arabia with a few whoa, restrictions. Whoa, Listen, whoa. that's it for this episode. It's Flow Cavalry, and now we're all set to go. Uh, that was a good weekend wrap. Today's lunch menu is personal pan, cheese pizza, chicken Caesar wrap, entree salad, strawberry spinach salad, fresh carrot sticks, fresh fruit choices, strawberry banana Johnny Pops popsicle. And to today's... Today? Today's quote. Told you oh, no. Yeah. no. <laughs> Today's where in the world problem problem winner is Braden Borland from Mr. Olson's advisory. Congratulations, Braden. You can stop by the office to pick up your lunch budget pass. The answer to today's problem is Bryce Canyon National Parks, Utah. Today's <laughs> quote is don't just stand there, make it happen. Thanks for watching and make it a good day.